He's a newcomer to Central Square as far as performing. I don't know if you've been here before, but it uh, doesn't seem like he's a stranger to the Gulf Coast. Uh, from New Orleans, he grew up in South Alabama, correct? Yeah, yeah. Bruton? Bruton. Okay, yeah. Fair hope. Everybody knows right. Uh, he played for Wade the other night, so Wade kind of gave me the rundown on how awesome this is going to be. But uh, just to give you a little... Uh, it was later on the evening. I wrote, a, wrote the title song for Love Song for Bobby Long, and uh, his dad wrote uh, the book that that film was based on, so he's got stories in his blood, it seems. Uh, he describes some of his songs as uh, dead prophets masquerading as town drunks. Much like our friend Mary Gaucher sees Beauty in the Downtrodden, which, uh, you know, I think we all need to uh, get a glimpse of that uh, from time to time. Uh, he's uh, promoting his 2011 release, Lost Cause Minstrels, which I have on CD and, and LP, and Willie Sugarcaps, which I also have. All right. So uh, grab you a copy before you leave, and uh, give a warm welcome to Grace and Caps. We're psyched to have him. That's my friend Corky Hughes. And my gowns in a seal sucker suit was stained. You hollered, Man, some Travis. Man's Travis is my name. Spend his days and nights and weeks and months on end. I remember when the Nazarenes bought him a single ride. He'd sit on the steps and smoke and drink and wave when they rode by. Nobody knows where he lived before, maybe Elba or Laverne. Since he was a man with a broken heart and his speech was taciturn.
Cause they didn't come from a mountain They came from some far off land Where the rivers run clean and clear White carnations was a favorite flowers Where they came from across the sea Every time you see a white carnation Please remember me some say he killed his wife Some say she drowned Some say it was suicide Some say she just left town Some say it was another man Some say she was just a girl But nobody knows what it really was That happened to shatter Nancy's world Where's he come from? Nancy's world signs on 31 saying Jesus is coming soon. I watched those signs rotten to the ground. It don't look like he ever came back. For man saw, or me, or you, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from?
won't speak to me no more. My eyes have seen the light. The light has made me dark like a candle in a cave with no wind and no storm. Patriotism, pride, and greed will bring us to our knees. I'm as guilty as you. You're as guilty as me. You hear my plea. shopping and stuff but for some reason it feels comfortable to have kids you know I've got kids and, and so uh, it's it's safe and comfortable there and then cut off some chaos I'm talking too much <laughs> um, but uh, one of my first uh, visits to New Orleans I just fell in love with all the, uh, I fell in love with a, with a washboard player and uh, through her I fell in love with the whole damn town of New Orleans Standing on the corner of Royal Street on a Sunday afternoon.
and on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm trying to, you know, like that song I'm saying about trying, what's our common thread, what's our neutral ground, what can we start, I'm really thinking about focusing on that. So, you know, talking about politics, religion, you can divide people real quick. But if you talk about something like Levon Helms, for example, <laughs> which I think we'll all agree. I don't think anybody's going to get in a fist fight over the fact that Levon Helms is a wonderful something, a musician, singer. He didn't write any songs. You might have thought he wrote a lot of songs, but he didn't. Um, but he did write a song recently that, well, you know, before he died, um, <laughs> with, with Larry Campbell, he's still around. Um, and I think it's another topic I'm starting to find out that people are agreeing upon is legalizing or decriminalizing marijuana. Yeah. Um, oh, no hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> 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 that was a record story. That was a Shit. <laughs> Well, the dollar could all agree on that. <laughs> they agree. But uh, I didn't know. Uh, I'd like to share with you a song that's uh, on Levon Helms' song that uh, you know a lot of people say if you don't choose to uh, grow Monsanto seeds as a farmer, then you don't get funded by the <laughs> federal government because apparently the old president of Monsanto is now the head of the FDA. So, um, Anyway, whatever. I'm not talking about politics or religion. I'm talking about the, just the song. I worked the land to raise a family till I was weary to the bone. The hard labor never bothered me. It's all I'd ever known. Too many seasons of calamity, too much stints to rest on the loan. I'm half the size that I used to be, and half that is stone. The crops ain't worth the seed, timber only gets you fire. The livestock I've been feeding, I can hardly keep me alive. I gotta do what I can to survive I know the law won't be forgiven But that'll be the choice I made I used to fall for a living Now I'm in the growing trade
know the law won't be forgiven. That'd be the choice I made. I used to pawn for a living. Now I'm in the growing trade. I used to pawn for a living. Now I'm in the growing trade. around that area for building a fence around his house made out of whiskey bottles and quick creek cement. <laughs> it's true and it says it's designed to keep the chickens in and his wife out. <laughs> There's a little story about uh, my great Uncle Ed. Oh Uncle Ed Lee is bad to drink. Couldn't hold a job but just sit there and think. There's no valedictorian That way to me And never come back home again And Ed Lee and his wife Alone at the house She held his whiskey above the sink She poured it all out And Ed Lee said, I care, woman Now my job here is nothing Packed up his books He's out on the run Built himself a shack on the Of a cage and said, Daddy, please come home. He said, There's nothing here but us chickens, and we prefer to be alone. <laughs>
but I had a request from somebody. I can okay, we'll see how much time we have. So, uh, but somebody wanted to hear uh, Bobby Long. Yeah. Uh, and then I can do that. For, yes. I don't know if those are two long songs. Do it for good. Sing real fast. Uh, I wrote this song for a friend of the family. His name is Bobby Long. And I put it on a cassette tape when I first wrote it. And I went and go visit him at the Colonial Manor in Bruton. I said Colonial Inn in the song, but I couldn't find anything that rhymed with manor, you know, other than the manor or something. Like that. <laughs> so the inn worked up. Um, so he had burned every bridge. He was uh, probably by this point was severely alone. And uh, so uh, I remembered some pretty times in his life. So I wrote this song, put it on a cassette tape. The last year of his life, he'd just get drunk and call people. He wouldn't even say anything, he'd just play the cassette <laughs> of, of his song. And he said, son, you have immortalized me in a song. And I thank you for that. <laughs> Stomped into the window. Bobby Long was lying so weak, sidetracked by the scent of a woman. Could have been an actor on a movie screen. Stayed in Alabama, just a dreamer of dreams. He played football against WSD. Should have seen him. Smoke cigarettes and philosophize. 
So here I am at the Colonial Inn Me and Captain Long and my pretty girlfriend And he charms her with a poem Then he breaks down and cries Smiles a crooked smile with his broken cheekbones Tells about his life Now he's 63 he looks me in the eyes and says, come and go with me. He could walk on water, walk on water, but he know he drowned himself in wine. God and the devil, God and the devil, God and the devil all inside his mind. It's a love song for Bobby Long. A love song. Bar, taco bar, man, that's some glamorous shit we're doing. <laughs> it's either the taco bar or the pizza bar. We start at 9.30, 9.30, and um, um, thank y'all very much. Thank you. That's an important view. Thank you. Thank you.